Hi to all my sewing and designing friends. It's Marcy Tilton. I'm in my studio on a beautiful Sunday and I'm about to do something that always gives me fits, which is buttonholes. And I thought I'd make a little video to show you what I've done to so I do everything right down to the making of the buttonholes, which takes no time at all. But so here, here's where it's going to go. And this little area can be the problem area. You know, it, there's that thickness right here at the neck and the buttonhole is going to go somewhere in here. And my buttonhole will make a beautiful buttonhole on a flat piece of fabric. But if there's a little bump, it can cause problems. So here's what I did. I went in and bear with me while I do this. And I skived away everything I could inside. I literally, one layer at a time with my sharpest little scissors, went in and trimmed away. You don't want to trim too much, but you don't want to leave too little, too, so it's thick. So then I'm going to turn it. And this is a trick I learned from a tailor. And in the old days, the tailors referred to this as killing the wool, but it works also, so it's great with thick wools. So I am at my ironing board, and I've turned my sleeve board upside down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good press. I want that out of the way. So I'm going to give it a good press with my iron. I have one of these great reliable irons which I adore. Okay, so I'll get it good and hot. And then I take my clapper and I pound that area. So I really come down hard on it with the clapper. The secret here is wood on wood. And you really should test a piece of your fabric before you do this because some fabrics can get shiny. So um, if you were going to do it on a, a wool gabardine, for instance, in a dark color, use a muslin press cloth um, between the, the wood and the um, fabric. But here I had tested this one and it worked great. So now it's really lovely and flat and I'll be able to make my buttonholes. And then I've already marked where the buttonholes are going to end, but I wanted to share with you absolutely one of my favorite products. And this is called Clo Chalk. It's from the Clotilda Notions catalog. It's a special claw, uh, chalk rather that when you press it, it disappears. So let me just show you what, what I mean. You definitely have to test this because every once in a while there will be a fabric that will show up. But it's not like your regular waxy chalk that will leave a line. See, it just vanished. It just went away. So I'm going to um, take three deep breaths and mark these very, very carefully and sew the buttonholes and... Wish me luck on this. Happy sewing. 